Young children are accidentally eating cannabis edibles, edibles at higher rates than ever before. The Blue Ridge Poison Center says its calls tripled last year compared to 2021. Madison McNamee shows us the reasons behind the increase. In 2022, the Blue Ridge Poison Center received 77 calls for kids unintentionally getting their hands on marijuana products. Five years ago and more, we didn't see any calls at all. Dr. Chris uh, Holstag is the Poison yeah, Center's right. medical director. He says the reason for the uptick is availability. There's more and more shops that are increasing too. And these products, uh, many of these products look like candy. He says kids think they're eating this when really it's this. One of the problems that we have is there's no quality control on these products, so we don't know what they're getting exactly. Even if they say how many milligrams, that may not be true. He says that's what leads to children being hospitalized, and it's more common for the little ones. 68% of the calls involved kids five or under. Uh, we need to make sure that their heart rate stays appropriate. Uh, we need to make sure that their airway stays appropriate, that they're breathing okay. Um, and in the worst case scenarios, they'd have to be put on life support, and that's happened in Virginia. To avoid all of it, he says if you have young kids, don't buy any cannabis that resembles candy and lock up your edibles like you would store away any of your other medications.